What's up? I'm going to teach you how to do an easy mana motorcycle. So first, there are, are three different opening movements that you can do. The slowest and easiest one is the first one I'm going to show you. And you can make mana with all these. So that's the easy one. And I missed that jump, uh, but you would have made Manimo doing that. Um, the second one is a little bit harder. Um, instead of doing that dive, that second dive, as soon as you land from the first one, uh, you're going to go over this gap and roll out on the first frame you hit this platform. And that's why I say it's a little bit harder, is because you do have to roll out on the first frame you hit that platform. And that wasn't the right movement. Um, and you get a muscle memory for it. And if you miss the first frame, like I got it there. Uh, but if you miss the first frame, then you can do a little press B and then A on the next frame to get that speed back. And then the final one um, is the fastest but the hardest one. Uh, you do speed kick there and then you get up there um, but for the sake of this I'm gonna do the second one oops um, actually I'm gonna do that one um, I'm gonna do the one with the speed kick uh, so let's so there we go, that's a good safe save. So when you're running up here, as soon as you pass this crease right here, this one right here, you're gonna press R, C down, and C left all on the same frame. And it's gonna set you into this camera. And as soon as you do that, you're gonna turn around. And you're gonna try to long jump right about here. And as soon as you long jump, you're gonna press R again. And you're gonna angle the stick um, just left of down notch, and you're gonna try to, it's just kind of a muscle memory thing, but you want to try to land, and as soon as you wall kick, um, I hold, uh, down left, and that reduces speed and gets me closer to the center of this platform, and then holding the left is gonna allow me to go around and actually grab the ledge. Now, once you're here, um, the way that most people do Manimo is you'll go around and then you'll do a speed kick here and then you do that. Um, now I find that left facing speed kick really hard so what I do is that and that was Manimo right there. Uh, you just go straight left and it is frame perfect. Um, the jump that's not going to make it. Also, you want to try to get a second frame wall kick. Um, but as soon as you, um, as soon as you make it past, so you're here, you jump, roll out, and then depending on how early you are, you might want to dive onto the platform, or you can just jump right on. So since I did the speed kick, I'm super fast to Manimo, and I don't even have to dive to the platform. Um, but if I were a bit slower, say I did like a bigger circle, you might want to dive onto the platform. Uh, but that's Manimo right there. Um, it's not that bad once you get used to it. And that was Manimo, I just messed it up. Um, and on that one I didn't hold left notch. Um, I don't know what's happening here. That one wasn't a frame perfect jump. So you see there is a lot that can go wrong here. Um, there are several kind of frame perfect inputs, but if you can get it, it's really not that bad. And that was me.
And then after you get Manimo, you can complete the rest of Sky how you normally would. So let's see if I can get moving left here. I did. Well, that wasn't what I was supposed to do. I totally messed up the movement for the ending platforms. Um, so I got really slow platforms. Okay, I, I give up. That was embarrassing. Um, there's Manimo. And you can get Manimo with all three of the beginning movements. Um, when I'm feeling fast, I'll do this one, just because it doesn't require that frame-perfect rollout um, onto the platform or onto the slope. Um, but I'll show you that you can get Manimo with that movement. And so that was Manimo. Another trick that might help is when you do the circle, the bigger you do the circle, the more speed you'll have. Um, that one I didn't hold the right notch. Or I didn't hold off and down left. But the bigger circle you make, the more lenient it is to like a third frame wall kick. Um, though, of course, it does highly depend on where you actually do the long jump. I like that one. Oh, that was a second frame. That was a fourth frame, and it wasn't going to work. Uh, but generally, second frames are really good, and that's what you want to aim for. I'm trying to get a third frame wall kick, uh, but I can't seem to force it here. Just to show you that with a big circle. Oh, well. Okay, so I'm not getting it with a third frame wall kick. And that was a first frame. So, I mean, if you do a big circle, it makes it super easy. Obviously, you don't want to get thirsties. And that one I didn't hold right to ledge grab. And that one was way too low. So you see, I'm just making a few mistakes here, as you can see. Um, kind of what can go wrong doing this. And, okay, so I can't get it with a third frame wall kick. I know you can. Um, I generally do a circle about that size, and then with the second frame wall kick, um, it's not bad. So that was a third, I didn't make it. That was a second, and I did make it. And that was Manimo, except I messed up the movement. So there's my little thing on Manimo. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll do Manimo uh, successfully one time so you can just the whole thing put together so you can see what it looks like. There you go.